Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a neat trick with Canva that'll save you a ton of time and a ton of effort when it comes to creating your KDP books. And that is how to add page numbers automatically. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, the most common way to add page numbers with Canva is just to do it manually. I made a video about this, and if you wanna check it out, you can click somewhere around this video. Uh, there should be a link, or I'll post it in the description down below. But basically, it just consists of going to each page and then typing in the page number like this, one, and then next page, and then doing it again, page two, and then so on and so forth. And it can be very tedious and very time consuming. But the method I'm gonna show you today doesn't require you to do any of that. Instead, we're gonna take advantage of some neat little tools that Canva has to be able to get this process done in no time. So what I want you to do is to open up Canva, okay? And then we're gonna open up a blank document. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click up here where it says create a design click that and the document we want to create is an eight and a half by 11 but i like to just do the custom size anyways make sure this is in inches because usually it'll be selected in pixels make sure it's in inches and then you just want to put eight and a half right here and then the height is 11 and then create the design so now that we have our blank document ready the first thing we want to do is to know where our margin lines are and so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on file you wanna click on view settings and you wanna make sure where it says right here, show rulers and guides that it has a check mark. I already have mine check marked. So that gives me this ruler up here on the top and then the ruler here on the left side. So this tool allows us to basically create margins like this. So basically what we wanna do is we want to know where our margins are so we can really pinpoint where we put our page numbers. And so how you do that is from, if you're going left to right, you go from the ruler here if you click on the ruler and hold, you can create a margin and it'll show up and be placed exactly where you leave it on the page. Same thing when you're going up and down. If you go to the top ruler and you drag, you can put it wherever you want to put it. Okay, so to find the margins for an 8.5 by 11, if we're doing a KDP book, we can easily get the template from Amazon or from another place. I use tangent templates. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the page. Okay, so here it is on the page. So all we're going to do is resize it so it fills the entire page. And then now we have our margin lines. Okay, so we want to put margin lines here on the left side the right side, the top and the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna show you exactly why we do this in a minute. So if you can read right here, it says that the inside gutter margin is 0.375 inches, which is right here. Our outside margins are 0.25 inches, which are here on the right side and the top and the bottom. Okay, so if we go ahead and drag our first line, this is gonna be at 3.75. Now Canva doesn't actually allow you to make it precise. So you're going to have to get as close as possible. And for me, I like to overshoot it just by a little bit, then undershoot it just to be safe. So 3.75, so 3.81, that's where we're going to put this line. And then we're going to put another line over here, which if this is an 8.5, just minus the 0.25 outside margins, it'll give you an 8.25. And so 8.25 is right there. And then we're going to put our margins on top and the bottom. And so... This is gonna be 0.25, so we want 2.61, just to be safe. And then one more, and that's good enough there. And the first page is always on the right side of the book, okay? So we have to remember this. So if we delete this, we know that every odd page, one, three, five, seven, always shows up on the right side of the book. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put the margins for the left side of the book, but we're gonna put it on the same page here. So I'm gonna upload this template real quick. Okay, so this is the margins for the left side of the page, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the same page, and I'll show you why in a minute. 
So if we just go ahead and resize this so it fits the page, we have it there. And then we wanna finish it off and put our margin lines on this side and on the left side. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. 0.25 there, and then this one, since it's 8.5, 3.75 is gonna be somewhere there. And so here are our margin lines, okay? Now, this is where it might get confusing. So basically, when you open up a book, the right side of the page, okay? So if we're doing the right side of the page right here, our margins that we stick on is gonna be the line on the right, okay? So the line on the right here and the line on the right here. And if we're doing page two or basically the left side of the book, our margins are gonna be on the left side, okay? That's what we're gonna follow. So now that we have these margins, what I want you to do is open up a text box. It can be any one, but I'll just use this small one right here. And then I want you to put page one, okay? And then I want you to go ahead and copy that and then make a page two, okay? So you should have these two boxes, a one and a two. So for page one, we wanna put it as if we're gonna manually do it, okay? So here are our margin lines. So like I said before, if we're doing page one, which is on the right side, we wanna use the right line, okay? The bottom line stays the same. So this is where if we go up close. This is where the farthest that we can put our page number with it being inside the margins. Now you can put it anywhere you want, but for this example, I'm just gonna put it right here on the border lines. Now the next step is, as you can see, it's centered. So if your page number is on the right side, we want to align this to the right, okay? So that's that, there we go. And then that's done. Now we wanna do the same for page two but we're gonna put it on the same page, okay? Put it on the same page, but act as if we're putting it on page two. So if we do the same thing, if I zoom in so you can see. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Once again, if you're doing the left side of the book or the left page, you wanna follow the left margin here, okay? And then when we're done with that, you can see it's centered we want to align it to the left. So now that's done, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Now the next step is to go to the menu here on the left side and click on apps. Okay, once you click on apps, if you scroll down, you can see something where it says bulk create. This is what we're gonna use. Okay, so go ahead and click that. And then right here, this is where you see that you can upload data either manually or with a CSV file, and then you're able to quickly bulk create hundreds of pages. This is exactly what we're gonna do. So go ahead and click this button, and it should come up with this kind of spreadsheet. Okay, so basically it'll give you two columns here, and then a bunch of rows. And if you don't have it, so for example, this is not here and it looks like this, you can easily just add a text here, which will add this column. Okay, and you can also add an image, but we're not doing an image. So we can go ahead and delete this column. We're only concerned about these two because we only have two variables that we're working with, right? On the page that we're creating, we have variable one and the variable two. So basically the way that you wanna do this is for this column on the left, you want to name this right, which basically signifies the right pages. Okay, and then on the second column, you wanna name it left, which basically signifies the left pages, okay? And then with these rows, this is where we put the page numbers. Now you can go all the way to however many pages you want. So for example, if I was doing this book, it would be 120 pages. But for the sake of this example, we're gonna keep it a little bit low because whether I show you 10, 20, 120 pages, it's the same thing. Okay, so now on this first column right here, where it says row one on the right, you wanna delete that and you wanna put one. Okay, so this is gonna be our first page. So if you think about this, on the right, on the first page is one. So this one basically says on the left side of the first page. So we don't want anything there. 
So on the second page, so number two on the second page, on the right side, we don't want anything, right? Because this is going to be our page two. We want our number two on the left side. Okay, and that's basically it. So the next three is going to be on the right, four is going to be on the left, and this is just the pattern. So you can go up to how many pages you want, 120 pages. You can just go ahead and fill out this table all the way there. And for this example, we're going to go ahead and just stop at 12. Now that you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to click done. When you click done, it's going to propagate right here your values. Okay, you have your right side here and your left. This is what we made. Now that it's in here, what you want to do is go ahead and go back to your document and click on one. And then you want to find these three dots where it says more. Click it. And then right here where it says connect data, click that. Once you click that, it'll give you these options, which is the same thing as right, right here. It's the data that we just put in. And you just want to click right, which basically means the right side. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that bigger. And then for number two, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Click on the three dots, connect data. But this one is going to be on the left. because these are the page numbers that will show up on the left side. Okay, so now that we have the left and the right, everything is done, everything looks good to go. All we have to do is click continue. So once we click continue, it'll ask us which pages we want. We can select them all, we can unselect some of them. Now once you click generate 12 designs, it'll open up in a new document and it'll be done for you. As you can see, here's page one right here, and then page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And just like that, our book has been numbered. A few things about this tool. So this bulk create, it's not a free feature, it's actually part of the subscription. And so if you're not subscribed to Canva, you won't be able to use it, but you could still use the manual way, which there's a video that I made. So feel free to check that out because that is a tried and true method. The other one you could still do, it'll take a little bit of time, but it's free and it'll still get you the result that you're looking for. Now, my recommendation with this tool is actually not to enter the data manually, but to actually create a spreadsheet and save it as a CSV file. Just in case Canva doesn't save your data, you still have it on your computer and you can upload it as easy as that. Okay, in order to upload the CSV. So you can use something free like Google Spreadsheet. I've already gone ahead and filled this out and it's basically the same thing as we did before. We have two columns here, name one right, name one left, and then do your page numbers. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and click file and then download. And you wanna click right here as a CSV or a comma separated values. Go ahead and click that and then save it and then go back to Canva, click Upload CSV, and then find that CSV file that we just downloaded and make sure this is correct. And then if we click Continue and then we choose all the pages and we generate the 12 designs, it'll be the same thing. See, as you can see, there's page one right there, page two, page three, page four, and so on and so forth. But with that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and Hopefully you're able to implement it into your KDP low and medium content publishing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone that might need it. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.